Hello, Katie Love Keener here, and you're watching Coffees with Katie. Today, I'm drinking my coffee in my bed, because why not? It's comfy, and that's really about it. As you can see, I have my dear pillow. He's sitting in a wingback chair yellow mustard kind of wingback chair and he's smoking his pipe it's a really great pillow and he has a monocle a lovely monocle don't see many people sporting a monocle these days when last I left you all which would have been late March maybe early April I think it was April I was enjoying multiple coffees a day uh, throughout the day full caffeinated coffees. I had the emotions of a normal sane person and all my clothes fit me. Well my friends, those days are over because I am pregnant. As you can see, I bought myself a cup. It's got a bear and it says mama because I am in the process of becoming a mama bear. From here on out, till January because that's when baby Keener um, is due. It's gonna be uh, decaf editions with coffees with Katie or it's gonna be just 200 milligrams of caffeine with Katie a day because doctors do say it's okay to drink coffee a day but honestly I don't drink coffee every day now. In fact when I first became pregnant Coffee did not sound good to me. It made me sick. I was pretty nauseous. Um, so I've only recently picked up the taste and love of coffee once again. I have this lovely stool in bed. It's perfect to set the coffee on. So if you think my coffee's floating, it's not. It's on a stool. Today, which is Monday, the 22nd of... August? I think it's the 22nd. We're going with the 22nd. Today is Monday the 22nd, but today is Monday, and um, we are going to find out what's growing inside of me. Is it going to be a boy? Is it a girl? Or is it an alien? Um, so today I go into the doctors and I get to go have the big old ultrasound. So, with being pregnant, I have become overly emotional um, about a lot of things. I cry at so many things. Some are rational, I'm gonna give myself that, but most are irrational things that I'm crying about. Um, and it, you know, hormones, they're totally out of whack. Um, but just to give you an idea of what I've cried about, the smell of barbecue sauce, because it made me feel sick, at a snag in my pants. It was a snag, a little tiny snag. Um, and it was, it was really sad, it was heartbreaking. Because prices of plane tickets have gone up, that one I really ugly cried about. While watching numerous episodes of The Office, but the one that I really, really cried, bald at, was the episode where Michael leaves. Um, that was heart-wrenching, even though I've seen it probably four or five times already. I was talking to David about Disneyland because um, we're going to Disneyland soon with his family and he said he told me he said I really am looking forward to taking my sisters to California Adventure so they can see the princesses and I started crying because I said the princesses are in Disneyland not California Adventure and so that was really ridiculous but then he corrected me and he said, no, Elsa and Anna are in California Adventure, which they are, they have a show there. Uh, but I was thinking, you know, old school princesses, Snow White, Cinderella, all that stuff. Um, but once he corrected me, I was like, oh, okay. Um, and yes, David has been a witness to pretty much every crying, um, irrational crying thing that I have had in the last months of being pregnant, so. And I've cried about a lot of other things. There are some things that are too embarrassing to tell you guys, and I will not share those things with you. I made this onesie 
as a little announcement to David when I found out we were pregnant. Isn't that adorable? As you can see, we like deers. I think, um, you know, we've learned a few things today. You know, we learned that while pregnant, you're gonna cry about some really stupid things. Though you knew that before, when that moment comes, it's a bit eye-opening, you know? Because I did know that pregnant women cry about stupid things. I knew that. But, but you know, when it's me who's crying about the smell of barbecue sauce, it kind of takes you by surprise a little. If you've ever been pregnant, so this would only apply to you women who are watching, if you've ever been pregnant, uh, please comment about the most ridiculous thing you've ever cried about because I would love to know. And I know more ridiculous things are on their way. Stay tuned for next time. You'll find out. Is it Baby Thor or Baby Dorcas? Can you imagine? Those are some winning names right there. I don't think they're gonna get teased in school. That's, I mean, with names like that, how, how could anyone make fun of a name like Dorcas or Thor? I think, I think with those names, we're setting our kids up for success in life.